Gordon Perry began taking photographs in the early 80s, and his love for the community and surrounding land can be seen in his work. He recently published a book titled Quinell the Beautiful that really shows off his amazing talent. I spent an afternoon with Gord to learn what I could from this master photographer. It's certainly a beautiful way to make a living, that's for sure, and it's such a nice hobby. It gets you out in the outdoors, and it's quite amazing what you find out there. People think an awful lot about their cameras when they think about taking pictures, but really, they should be looking at the world around them because it's changing. It's just like an ever-changing movie. Uh, nature changes. All You watch the sun all day long and the whole world just changes because of the light changing. And so that's a, it's a different kind of a thing. Uh, things are being presented to you and they have to be ready. Some people just have a natural eye for composition, for balance. What, what it's really all about is balance, but it's also about how the eye enters the photograph. That stuff used to just, I couldn't understand that, that. But when you look at a photograph, you have to have what I call a doorway, so that your eye travels into the photograph, and then your eye has to get out of the photograph. It sounds silly, but it actually, it actually happens. Composition is important, but rules can be broken, and it still works. So it's just a fun thing when you're taking photographs is to move your camera around and watch how things change in your viewfinder. And uh, then a lot of people, when they do that, they suddenly discover it where they've never really seen that before. The light is everything. I've been trying to work on a, on a book. I've been thinking about writing a book about that sort of thing called The Secrets of Photography. And uh, the first thing that ever comes to mind when you, you know, when you want to really photograph things and you want to get them in the best light is that you really have to understand the quality of light. And that takes a little while to learn. Um, to go out at high noon and take photographs of your little daughter and whatever, she's probably going to have black shadows under her eyes because noon light is very harsh. So the best light is usually in the evening. Early and up here is just beautiful in the summer. So you're looking for soft, flattering light, light that will flatter the subject is what you're looking for, I guess. I, I think photography is uh, it's a, a way of expression and it's a way of satisfying your curiosity and I'm so aware of the light, you know, I'm so aware of what happens when the light changes and I see things some days, I see a building or something sometimes that I photographed 10 years ago or maybe something like that. All of a sudden I see it and it totally looks different and that fascinates me. And those are the things that I kind of like to capture. That's why I'm always I'm always looking. I don't look for things, I sort of let it come to me. Uh, and that's why I say understanding how the light changes everything, it makes it that, uh, that much more appealing. And besides, it's in the blood, I guess. Reporting from Quinnell, I'm John McKenzie.